Today I'm going to talk about Wayne Enterprises, the company owned by Bruce Wayne, and the main source of income for all of Batman's many projects and missions. It was founded by Wayne's ancestors, a merchant family in the 17th century, and it has since built up to the multi-billion dollar corporation that is commonly seen in comics, movies, and TV shows, and cartoons. And I want to see how Wayne Enterprises as a whole and its many subsidiaries help Batman continue his war on crime in Gotham City and also around the world due to him joining the Justice League as a part-time member. All the information I'm using today is from BatmanFandom.com which describe the many fields Wayne Enterprises has its hands in. Wayne Enterprise, the main company, is a conglomerate which is a combination of multiple business entities operating in different fields under one corporate group. One example of this in real life is Bloomberg LP, which is owned by Michael Bloomberg. So he, just like Batman, is a single owner of a large conglomerate. One of its most popular subsidiaries is Wayne Industries. Wayne Industries is the R&D division of Wayne Enterprises. It researches and develops cleaners, mechanical fissions, power plants, and has a lot of factories throughout Gotham and the world. One such subsidiary of Wayne Industries is Wayne Mining. Because it is the main R&D division of the company, it most likely researches a variety of different subjects and then has specific divisions for each field. And I believe the R&D division is what helped build the Watchtower in one of the Just League animated movies where he says that he hid it in the R&D division's budget. The next division is Wayne Technologies, or Wayne Tech for short, and it's one of the biggest divisions of Wayne Enterprises, or the biggest according to fandom though, I don't know how true that is. Now according to this, it says it is for retrieval and research of alien technology and it rivals LexCorp, owned by Lex Luthor. However, I believe it has more than alien technology retrieval and research, as in the Arkham games you can see most of the locks, if not all of the locks, use Wayne Tech and obviously the bat suit, the bat computer, the batmobile, and an array of items Batman uses for crime fighting and a lot of things that Gotham City uses most likely. It's probably from Wayne Tech, which is used by a specific division that has information on that field, like for instance medical science. A prime example of this is the next division, Wayne Biotech, which is for the healthcare field. It researches and develops new medical procedures for the healthcare system and closely works with other divisions that have a similar skill set like Wayne Chemicals and Wayne Pharmaceuticals which is actually a subsidiary of Wayne Tech. So Wayne Biotech can be helpful for Batman if for instance Scarecrow comes out with a new type of fear toxin or Joker comes out with a new Joker Venom then he can cure that using Wayne Biotech's vast resources. The next division is Wayne Foods which mainly runs cattle farms and ranches and grows vegetables and produces ecological and organic foods. Now Batman uses this to keep tabs on the food process and food market industry. The next division is Wayne Shipping which owns dozens of freighters and handles 3.5 billion tons of freight each month. It is mainly for shipping precious metals but also has a lot of other uses. Batman uses this division to keep tabs and have an inside view on the trafficking industry like human trafficking, drug trafficking, smuggling, etc. The next division is Wayne Steel, one of the oldest steel mills and refineries in Gotham and it supplies steel for shipbuilding. So because of this division, if Batman needs to study or produce a specific type of alloy, he has Wayne Steels to procure and use in the name of research. In relation to Wayne Steel is Wayne Yards, which is responsible for building a bunch of warships, commercial ships, private ships, yachts, and aircraft carriers in Gotham. And due to the many contracts it has with the military on building warships and carriers, it allows Batman to have a peek into military tech. A similar division is Wayne Aerospace in the fact that it also builds military jets and helicopters for the US military allowing even more influence on the military because of this division. Along with it, it also builds private jets and corporate jets and airliners and has its own commercial airline division called Wayne Airlines. Wayne Chemicals is another division in Wayne Enterprises 
which controls Wayne Oil, Wayne Pharmaceuticals, and Wayne Botanical, and as I said before, closely works with Wayne Tech and Wayne Biotech. Wayne Chemicals, along with oil research on alternative fuel sources like Luxor Oil, it also helps produce drugs used by Wayne Biotech for the research on cures of diseases. Falling in line with Wayne Biotech is its sister company, another division of Wayne Enterprises, that focuses mainly on treatment rather than research, though it does help study cancer and AIDS with Wayne Biotech. This division helps run many hospitals in Gotham City and most likely across the world, and helps the Wayne Foundation help treat people without the necessary funds for their illnesses and diseases. Another division is Wayne Electronics, which is a big player in Wi-Fi, IT, and it also makes cameras, hi-fi systems, radios, surveillance equipment, computers, and other electronic devices. And because of such a wide range of electronics that this division has, it has contracts with aerospace, nautical, and military industries as well. This division most likely has a large effect on Batman's crime-fighting abilities, as it obviously, as I said before, produces surveillance equipment, which Batman does use, and because his company makes most of the electronics in Gotham, he can easily access them due to the fact that he owns the company, making it easy for him to acquire the necessary schematics and plans for those electronics being used for nefarious reasons. The next one is Wayne Entertainment, which owns many arenas and stadiums across America, including in Gotham and Metropolis. Batman uses this as a way into the media and entertainment industry. This division buys out the Daily Planet, making Batman Superman's boss. The next division is the Wayne Institute, which is a think tank to help solve problems in Gotham and throughout the world. Similar to this and Wayne Industries is the Wayne Research Institute, which is an R&D division used by Wayne to help study issues and technology that he might be able to use in his endeavors as Batman. Lastly are the Wayne Foundations, because there are more than one. The Wayne Foundation is for scientific research and helping research by providing facilities and training along with raising funds to charities on different issues. The Thomas Wayne Foundation is for medicine and medical help and this is most likely because Thomas Wayne was a doctor. And this foundation, like the Nobel Foundation, gives out awards and funding for medical breakthroughs and lifelong commitment. The Martha Wayne Foundation, on the other hand, is a patron foundation for arts, families, education, and tolerance. They fund orphanages, free schooling, provide teachers with the tools necessary to teach students with learning disabilities. Now those were all, if not most, of the divisions in Wayne Enterprises. And what I find interesting is that it reflects Batman's image on the company. Because just like how Batman has a variety of different skills through different fields, his company has its hands in almost every field imaginable. But the reason most likely for this is because of the connections it provides like I stated before. Batman has an easy access into most fields of study, allowing him to solve most problems of crime, and do a lot of good equal or more than Batman can with his many charities and funding for people in need, helping cure diseases running orphanages, schools, etc, etc.